a series you guys have enjoyed. It's Freshman Familiarity, Part 5. And today, we're going with Caleb Jackson. His name has been brought up recently, maybe to the surprise of many. I mean, you read any preview article on this guy, they're like, ah, he probably won't see the field. And I don't blame those people for saying that because he plays running back. And we've talked about it before. LSU's got a whole stack drawer already of running backs. You're not going to go to, uh, you know, your local grocery store and grab another bag of chips when you already got four in the stack drawer, right? I mean, it's just maybe some of you will, but <laughs> I mean, it's got this overkill at that point. But Jackson's the type of talent, four star in last year's class, named the 247 Sports' as freaks list. What that is is like the must watch high school players. He was one of those guys. He's found a way to carve out a role for himself to get himself on the field. And he's done it at kick return. Brian Kelly said he'll be the off-kick returner. So he's going to be on the field. And that means they're not going to redshirt him. So now you got a four-star running back who's very motivated. Clearly, is athletic and skillful enough to see the field as a freshman and trusted enough to return kickoffs. That's a big responsibility. When you think about the struggles that LSU had last year in special teams, punt return fumbles, kick return fumbles, even that Tennessee game. It's a big responsibility, and a mistake there could really impact a game. I mean, Tennessee blew out LSU last year, and the game started with a kick return fall. Not a good way to start. So Jackson might see some time at running back, too, because you're not red sure to him. He's going to return kickoffs all year long as long as he doesn't get injured. Maybe he'll see the occasional carry or two. In games where LSU is in control, or maybe he just, he's just that dude. You got to put him in the game. I mean, there's been some really good reports on what Jackson has done in fall camp throughout the summer in practice. Like, apparently, he's been flashing his abilities every day. Touchdown runs, breaking tackles. So, all good things you like to hear. And again, clearly, he's just too good not to have on the field this year as a freshman. With... Five guys in the running back room for LSU right now that I think could start on most teams in America. It was like five of them. So add him into the fold, and he's got a big responsibility, but he certainly can handle it. Again, four-star from right down the road at Liberty Magnet High School. I was there the other day. Shout out uh, Coach Lindsey and everybody over there. Six foot, 225, big build, but he's fast too. Was a track guy in high school. Sub-11 second 100 meter. Um, and really should just help out this special teams unit for LSU, which was just awful last year. Ranked 117 out of 131 FBS teams. Those are Phil Steele's rankings. Love Phil Steele. I, mean, I trust him uh, with my life, his numbers, clearly. That's not good. That's towards the bottom. And it's because they got nothing for the putt return game. They averaged three yards per putt return, which is bad. You want to be up towards nine or ten. It was so bad, they were one of the worst seven punt return teams in college football. LSU doesn't want to be talked about as bottom seven in anything. <laughs> so, and then kick returns, they only had 20 yards per kick return. And in this new era of college football, the kick return isn't that important because you can fair catch it and just take to the 25. But when you do take it out, you want to make some plays. So that return average, I you know, you hope is up at 25, 26, maybe 30 this year, ideally. Maybe Jackson will have something to do with that. Above all, just don't make mistakes. Three games last year stick in my head for, for special teams mistakes. Florida State, the opener, they had a punt return fumble. Mississippi State, and another fumble in special teams. And then Tennessee, they had a lot of special teams problems. But they had a kickoff return fumble in that game, as I already mentioned. And, you know, the kicking game wasn't great. And the punting game was pretty good, but could definitely improve. So, if you could solidify the return game stuff, then that helps you out a lot already. Limit those mistakes. Maybe you get a better field position. Maybe a touchdown here and there, too. So, Caleb Jackson, a name to know. You'll see him game one against Florida State on the kick return. And perhaps in the running back room as well. And, I mean, forget what he does this year. This guy's talented. Over 2,000 yards and 29 touchdowns his junior year in high school. Here's this. At the beginning of his junior year. 23 carries, over 500 yards. He needed to touch the ball just 23 times to go over 500 yards. That's just insane. And he had 12 touchdowns, too. Like, those are video game numbers. Not even video game numbers. I play video games. I play the college football video game. I have never had a running back come close to those numbers. That is just out of this world from Caleb Jackson. So, a guy definitely to know this year... And the next couple of years for LSU, 
could be the starting running back very soon. So, Caleb Jackson, know the name.